you know, they they both want this really bad. Uh, you know, Dan's got the great mustache. I, Bill's I love got it. I know, and I heard uh, Dan lost. I don't, I don't know anything about Bill, but I know Dan's son, and he said that his father had lost a ton of weight. Oh, so you know him. two fighters now? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. All right, guys. All right. I am very excited to train you guys over to the actual announcers tonight. You have Mark and Matt Nolan, who actually were just in the corner of Nico Verano, who, as you saw, won that first fight. Amazing now first fight. The ring, but we're going to hand it over. Corner. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting so out of Beast Control Academy and Trey So we're going to have them Jake take over. Gibbons, you guys, they're a lot Jenny, more fun than we are, but Random I think they're probably Sons, riding a nice little high from that big win. What is up? Hey, Makers for Hope. How about that first fight? Oh Hachi, my Hachi. goodness. Yowza. Is that what this thing's all about? Terribly violent for such an uplifting event. Mark, who do we have? Oh, fight fans, we have Jan. I'm going to go with Chaskis. That's, a, that's an interesting name. Tough to come right from the ring to hit that name. Uh, a dude we share the locker with, right? With uh, a good dude. Good guy. Very nice guy. Please welcome fighting out of the blue corner. Weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Somerville Boxing Club and trained by Alex Riviera. William Duck Tape Moore. The old dude's coming out with the bangers, huh? Is this guy's nickname Duct Tape? Yeah, duct Tape. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, like it. Duct Tape. Always on. under attack. Always oh. coming in last. Bring it up. So our first like mass is about of the evening. So our, our individuals in the ring are over 40 years old, meaning they're going to use slightly bigger gloves. I promise you the violence is as good as any other fight the you're going to see tonight. Yeah, Relax no, that's, sorry. Violence. It just is a lot of bloodlust. The bout of the evening is brought to you by our gold sponsor, Seven Bridges in bronze sponsor, Snowflake. So not only is this a Masters Division bout, it is actually uh, the oldest uh, competitors on the night. We have 59-year-old uh, Dan, who said he's actually two weeks away uh, from 60, uh, against 57-year-old Bill Moss. I will say in the locker room, Dan was like super, super fit looking. When I say break, you take a step back. According to this, stop, you stop what I'm saying, Dan Moss is pretty fit as well. Yeah, uh, Dan... Dan listed as an IT consultant home. slash musician. Oh, I love stuff like that. Do you think like he does both at the same time? Oh, maybe it's like a guitar. Yeah, oh yeah. Or maybe he like, like works on a synth. Um, good corners in both, uh, both red and blue. We have uh, Shea from uh, Beast Control Academy. Um, we have a little fancy footwork from Bill Moss right out the back. Rivera is and, the first uh, southpaw of the night. I mean, George from Somerville. <clears throat> some nervous energy, some feeling out. So, Matt, as a left-handed fighter, what do you want to see from Blue tonight? Ooh, we're seeing um, a dance already from, from so Chas. I would like to see exactly what he's doing. You know, he's a little bit awkward. He's a little bit herky-jerky, but he's not He's not bad. In fact, he's he's got a little stink. Uh, he's staying on the outside, you know. I like uh, what I'm seeing. Um, Dan made some adjustments. Yeah. He's floating to his left, floating he, away from power. Not only is he floating to the left, he's throwing that right hand at the body, right? He knows it's going to line up a little bit better against a lefty fighter. Um, good scrap so far. And duct tape Moss is a really good right hand. It's, I know it's his lead hand. He's long for yeah. that height. He's, He's only listed, listed at 5'10". I was thinking the same. I wonder if he like was like the one dude who actually lied and went short. Oh, good good straight left from duct tape. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah Bill Moss him a using, bit. using his range here. <laughs> Nico Verano. I still got blood on me. It's yeah. the first time I've been able to do that behind the mic. Yeah, so a, a, this bout is shaping up to be uh, some decent boxing. You know what I mean? A little bit more conventional. Um, it looks like Dan's finding a little bit of a home for that right hand. He actually has switched stances. 
um, at least once. So he's in the southpaw position as well. And he's awesome. actually have, having a lot of success with that. Absolutely. That right he gave jab. up the first half of that round. I thought it was an easy blue round. I'll tell you, much more competitive. Oh, oh he did massive the dance right again. Here. Oh, but Moss count is back with a great straight left. That was not an easy round of school. I'll tell you, I thought Blue handily had it at the start. I'm not so sure now. I do, anybody's think, fight. I do think Moss did enough uh, early on as far as controlling the pace, yeah. setting the tone. Um, but uh, Dan there fight uh, landed fans, a great right hand. Let's welcome our ring card warrior, Matt Fogarty. So again, formal Who's introduction. I'm Mark Nolan. On the mic next to me is March Matt Nolan. You represent Nolan you Brothers Boxing and Fitness. You work the corner for Nico Brown in the first bout. Very, very competitive bout up until that, that third round overhand right. Yeah, it was good. I'm still, I got blood on me. You know, I uh, try to rinse off as best I could. We're live from the House of Blues in Boston. This is the Rock and Rumble 11, Thursday, May 19th. The crowd is just obnoxious right now. And I, by the way, in the, the, the best sense. They in the are, best way. The energy's incredible already, dude. You know? Good night for boxing. As, as they come to take the... Uh, uh, the center of the ring in the second round here. The one thing I'll say, having been there for media day, is the bouts across the board were very, uh, presented as extremely competitive. Um, and I think you're going to see that play out tonight. Uh, just as this bout is right now. It's funny, because we just, we just said, you know, Dan had so much success in the southpaw stance, and then he gives it up the start of this round. All right, so that's true, right? But let me ask you in a, a serious sense, right? Do you feel like Dan trains a tremendous amount in the southpaw sense, or do you think it was a little bit circumstantial? He kind of uh, fell into it and went with it. Yeah, I, I think he's I think he's a tough guy mm -hmm. who raised a ton of money, yep. but not necessarily has a formal boxing background that would allow him to be like, yeah, he's like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll try this whole lefty thing. Yeah, looks like it's working for that guy, dude. It's these exchanges are kind of interesting though. So they both, you know, they disengage and then they engage. It's kind of in and out, you know, Olympic style boxing. Not to exaggerate too much, but it really is. Um, and Moss catches him on the end of some hard punches. Um, but at the same time, uh, Dan kind of identifies that if he presses the action, all that dancing, it takes a lot of energy. And, and Mo Moss is landing hard, clean shots. Dan's chin is holding up really well, and th then he gets his attention. So, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I don't know how much vicious sparring these guys have had, but at the same time, like, they are taking well to getting punched in the face. And I do mean that. Yeah. Like, the punches that are landing are landing emphatically and clean. I don't know um, what that clap was. The, the unofficial clock had 20 seconds. Usually you see the clapper at 10 seconds. We'll see. So this is... Yeah, okay. okay, that was the clapper. Let's talk about that round. You yeah, go first. Uh, I still think it was blue. Okay. I don't know. But it played out exactly like where, where red comes on. Right, Benz, make so some once again, I do believe that Moss did enough to win that round. I do, right? I don't know. I have Moss up two rounds tonight. I wouldn't be shocked or disappointed if... Uh, if Dan actually snuck out both those rounds just because he did so much at the end. I do believe Moss is winning the fight currently, and I, I, I do think unless Dan presses the action early and really sets the tone to start this third round, uh, the story of the fight might be Moss's life. I'll tell you, Dan, Dan is breathing heavy. Just took the stool for the first time just now in that corner. Voice crack. Yeah, you get that one? Order. That's forever on YouTube. Yeah, you know forever. what? That's war. Uh, too bad uh, my... My uh, voice crack being Matt Nolan. Is nah, nice try, buddy. YouTube No forever. way. No way. Me, I'm firing Matt. down cough drops. I was resting my voice like Bobber Streisand earlier today. Third and final round. <clears throat> see if Dan fights with some urgency here. But even if he does, right? Moss has oh. that guy. Dude, that guy can punch. punch and Dan's chin is really <laughs> holding up. Yeah. Oh. And you can see some of the waving, waving Moss in frantically. So I wonder if they know something we don't. Maybe Moss is pretty fit, you know? And the way he was able to conserve energy those first two rounds by dictating. Oh, he doesn't have his mouthpiece. Dan, Dan just pointed to his corner. I don't think he has his mouthpiece. He just pointed to his corner. He pointed to his mouth. I'm wondering if they didn't put his mouthpiece in. Well, he just landed a good uh, couple of punches there. He's starting to, to run away with it a little bit here. I'll tell you, it's a, I don't keep, know. Keep he's a close touching look his at face, end, Mark. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Broke his nose or something. I mean, he went to he's his corner. He's batting at it, certainly. <clears throat> he's finding a home for that left hand, though. And they're hard, dude. Again. <sighs> Steve's taking a real close look at Dan at this point. Yeah, Steve Clark, third man in the ring. Currently uh, getting treatment for prostate cancer. He he's, literally left radiation today to come here. Tell me a more badass dude. That's an eight count right there. Yeah, yeah. very well warranted. I'm curious to see... 
They gotta get yeah, see, in that he's, other corner. he's looking at his Just corner. I, I, I wonder. He keeps pointing. <laughs> Dan's like, you get in that neutral corner. I like it. Yeah. So anytime there's an eight counter or knockdown, one of the box. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, I don't. I don't know that he has a mouthpiece. There's something going on here. Something's up. Maybe they check, check his. Blood. Maybe it's a broken nose. Maybe it's. Yeah. Filled. Okay. So they're calling the ringside doctor. So they're probably checking. Uh, at least for blood. The doctor you know. here is Sonny Jane. He did excellent, excellent ringside uh, physician. Does many of the bouts uh, for the New England LBC. I, I wonder if uh, Dan's telling. Yeah, they're gonna wait uh, this fight damn. off. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what he's looking that's for. Too bad. Yeah, you know, a really highly competitive bout. Um, I Bill, had Moss, Bill Moss. That fight, and I think he, you know, got the finish that he kind of deserved. To a certain degree, he know? stuck to his game plan like duct tape, man. Dude, I love that. I was man. sitting on that joke for like 45 minutes. It landed flatter than I expected, but it was still fine. It was okay. I'm sweating profusely. Thank God for this uh, endless supply of ice cold Red Bull. We're waiting for the official decision to line up now. Shout out to our platinum sponsor, Frank and Nixie Italian Spirits. We have gold sponsors, Komodo and Seven Bridges. Silver sponsors, Flavley Shippers Insurance and Rivers Edge. Bronze sponsors, friends of the Fogarty family, the Glavin family, the Ledger Society, Nuts and more. Paul Marshall, Rasta Roots Recreational Cannabis Dispensary. Roquet's Painting and Wallpaper at Snowflake as well. Again, live from the House of Blues in Boston, this is Haymakers Rope Rock and Rumble 11. It's Thursday, May 19th, 2022. Official announcement coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 26 seconds of the third round, declaring your winner in the blue corner, William Duckett Moss. What an absolute fantastic second bout of the evening, hyper competitive, absolutely great showing by both men. Looking forward to the next bout of the night.